Hello guys, so I'm back. This is Jeremy Pasco once again, um, a real estate agent and a financial advisor. Uh, today I will be presenting the Alder Residences. It's a pre-selling development in the MCI Homes in Acacia Estates, Taguig City. Ayan. So, dahil hindi safe maglalabas-labas ngayon dahil sa COVID, uh, ito, ginawa ko na ito para mapresent ko sa inyong development. Ayan. And so, here's Alder Residences. Uh, developer niya is the MCI Homes. But before I present to you the development, I would like to make a brief introduction muna kung sino ba si DMCI Homes. Ayan. So DMCI Homes is the real estate arm of DMCI Holdings founded by the late David M. Kutsuni in 1999. However, yung DMCI Holdings kasi it's been around since 1954. Uh, and as a contractor, DMCI has been known to build famous infrastructures such as SM Mega Mall, Shangri-La, Mactan, Makati, and Boracay, um, Manila Hotel, PICC, Western Plaza, uh, Manila Doctors, and many more. Ayan. And then, uh, some of its newest infra projects pa are Solar Resort and Casino, Expressway Phase 2, um, parts of Metro Manila Skyway Stage 3, and yung bagong LRT now, yung connect from uh, Antipolo to uh, Santolan Pasig and also um, the MCI is the only recognized quadruple A contractor in the Philippines as of date and, and then as for the MCI homes naman, we have projects in mostly in Metro Manila but we also have projects in Baguio um, in Boracay and Davao and soon pati Cebu so let's proceed na kay Alder Residences. Ayan. So ang address niya is a cash estate sa Taguig City. Sa presyang development, land area niya is 28,607 square meters, high-rise condominium siya, purely residential. Ayan. Ang architectural theme niya is modern artisanal. And then there are four buildings. Ang name, of the, ang name ng buildings are Andea, Manzuria, Oregon, and Silvan. And then, sa residential levels naman, Anday has 17 levels, uh, Mazuri has 18. Ah, actually, the rest of the, the buildings uh, ha, have 18 levels, residential levels. And then, for the basement parking, two levels siya. Turnover dates uh, from June 2024 to March 2025. And then, unit mix niya is two-bedroom and three-bedroom. Walang one-bedroom or walang studio. Four bedrooms possible. You can combine units. Yeah. So here's the location map of all the residences. Again, located siya inside the Cache Estates. Ito siya. Ayan. Katabi siya ng Cedar Crest. And katapat siya ng Mahogany Place. Mga housing lot ni Demsiay. Ito condominium. Ayan. Tapos this part, nandito si Save More, Akasha. So for those na hindi familiar sa Akasha Estates, Akasha Estates is, a, is like a subdivision of condominiums and housing lots. Lahat ng development inside the Cash Estates own ni the MCI homes. Ayan. So it's very exclusive siya. It's like a double gated community. So uh, may main gate si Cash Estate. Tapos pagdating kay other residences, may gate ulit. May gate for other lang. Ayan. So very safe sa community ng Cash Estates. Ayan. So Dito ay tatayo si Akasha, ay si Akasha, si Alder Residences. This one is um, Cedar Crest, project din ni MCI Homes. Ito, Mahugany Place, mga house and lot. Ayan. And then, yung road na to, going to save more. Pag nag-turn right dito, going to the main gate. This one, turn left naman, going dun sa new gates. Ayan. Explain ko sa inyo later. Ayan. So, ito yung main gate ni Akasha. That's from Cayetano uh, Boulevard, formerly known as Levi Mariano. So, ito yung C5. So, pagpasok mo ng main gate, ayan, dito si Alder Residences. Tapos, dito si, actually, dito sa map, medyo dapat na-adjust dito si SM Safe Mark kasi dito mukhang nasa along C5 siya. Pero, in reality kasi, dito lang siya. Pag, pag left dito, the uh, parking to ni Akasha Estate ay ni Akasha ni Save More tas dito na agad si Save More ayan 
Tapos, ang maganda pa sa Akasha now, there are two new gates. Um, one gate going to C5, the other gate going to uh, Mikutan. So, for example, uh, you're going to Makati, you can either take this route or this route. Ayan. So, pag uh, other, punta Makati dito, palabas sa C5, going to South Super Highway, then Makati. Ayan, dito. And then, if you're going this way naman, dito. Ayan. So, either you take Bayani Road, lumabas ng uh, dito sa Magallanes, or you can take this route sa BGC, lumabas ng Makati. By the way, this part, ito yung BGC. So, malapit lang din. Malapit din lang din tayo sa Naiya Terminal. So, for those naman going south, you can either take this route, this route, or this route. Ayan. Kasi nga meron din dito going to Bikutan. For those naman going north, um, pending yung Skyway Stage 3, pwede rin dito dumaan or pwede rin dito dumaan. Ayan. So, that naiya lang, tapos papasok ng uh, Skyway, babalik dito to Skyway Stage 3. Or, pwede rin Buendia. Ayan. So, Marami tayong daan. Ayan. Tapos, pagdating naman sa malls pala, meron dito Vista Mall. Malapit na malapit lang. Uh, dito, ayan, Market Market, SM Aura. Ayan. Yan yung mga ano natin, nearby areas. Madadaanan din naman. Ayan. So, inside Akasha Estates naman, we have a town center. So, sa town center, ito yan. So, si other residences, lalabas ka lang. Tapos, ayan na si town center. So, sa town center, nandiyan si Save More. Nandiyan si The Tent. The Tent is uh, for like events. Like, it's 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 an event hall. Casa Real also, it's 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 an event hall. So, we have Wingman, Bruyod, uh, Belly Rub, Casa Consunhi. We have Lourdes, Victor Ortega, Salon and Spa, and then Eye Level Center. Ayan. So, loob pala na ka siya. Panalo na. Ayan. Maganda pa dito sa Alder Residence. Actually, walking distance lang yan. Hindi mo na kailangan magkotse. Pwede mo lakarin yan. Sobrang lapit lang yan. Ayan. Tapos, eto po. Th this road, actually. Access din to sa ML Quezon. However, ano to, medyo exclusive to for Spring Lane homeowners. Na, although yung Spring Lane naman is ano, DMCI Homestead. Pero it's a subdivision kasi. Ayan. So, may gate dito. And if ever you would access ML Quezon, possible din to. But I would advise na take this route na lang. Ito yung bagong entry point. Ayan. Next. So, key places of interest. Ito. Ayan. Save more, Grace Mall, Vista Mall, SM Aura, Venice, Grand Canal Mall, Market Market, Uptown Mall, and Bonifacio Street. Uh, all are ano lang naman. Uh, very near. Ayan few kilometers away lang. And then, educational institutions naman, we have Min College, Enderon Colleges, Treston International Colleges, Integrated Montessori, uh, British School Manila, International School Manila, and Culeo San Agustin, Makati, and Assumption College. Few kilometers away lang din. Ayan. And then, for health in uh, institutions naman, we have Medical Center, Tagig, Paglabas na Akasha, Halos nandiyan na yan, sa main gate. And, pero kung gusto nyo ng uh, St. Luke's or Makati Med, accessible din naman tayo. Yeah. And security and safety, Tagig City Police Station, Makati City Police Station, and Powellville Fire Station. And then actually, sa labas na kasha, uh, tinatayo doon, nililipat ngayon doon, uh, yung City Hall ni Tagig. Ayan, under construction. Ayan. Tapos, eto yung site development plan ni uh, Alder Residences. Ang maganda dito, 70% of the lot area of Alder Residences is allotted for its resort-like amenities. So, ang, ang amenities natin nasa gitna ng buong development. Ayan. Tapos, ang maganda pa, ayan, it has inter interconnected basement road network to make the amenity floor safer for everyone and cooler in temperature. So, ayan. Pagpasok nyo ng Alder Residences, so drop-off area, ayan. Papapansin nyo, yan lang yung kalsada. Ang, ang parking, access niyan, paikot siya. Ayan. So, 
ano tayo, ang road network natin is basement, basement one. Yan. Tapos, uh, ang maganda rin kasi pag ganyan, ayan, mapapansin nyo, halos green lang dito. So, pagdating sa temperature, mas cooler din tayo kasi yung road network na natin, hindi nasa taas. Ayan. Ito yung building sa atin, Andea, Manzuria, Oregon, and Silvan. Tapos, low density lang tayo since 2 bedrooms and 3 bedrooms lang tayo. So, ang building natin, meron lang each, ito, 348 units lang kay Andea, 377 kay Manzuria, 413 kay Oregon, and then 377 kay Sylvan. Ayan. Tapos, yan, kung mapansin nyo amenities natin, ganda. We have lap pool, leisure pool, kiddie pool. Tatlong pools tayo. So, general facilities natin, we have 24-hour security, convenience store, uh, audiovisual room, fitness gym, multi-purpose area, game area, gazebo, grill pits, pwede tayo mag-barbecue, landscape gardens, laundry station, lounge area, picnic grill area, electrified perimeter fence, pool deck, pool shower area, pool water slides, provision for CCTV cameras, roof deck, sky lounge, uh, standby electric generator, three-line walkway garden, and water station. So basically, uh, hindi na natin kailangan maglalabas-labas ng development kung yung mga ano lang, basic necessities. Kasi like, for example, water station. Ano pa tayo? May free 5 gallons tayo every month as long as we are paying you monthly dues or association dues properly. Ayan, meron tayong free gallons. ba? So at the same time, meron din tayong convenience store. Ayan. Tapos, we have the new laundry station. So basically, we 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 have almost everything inside other residences. And then paglabas mo pa ni Alder, nandiyan si Safemore, di ba? Very ano, very convenient. Ayun. So ito 'yung amenity core ni Alder Residences. Ayun. Kung pa itong this part, then 'yung magiging jogging path. Ayun. So uh Kahit na nakatira tayo, kahit nakatira ka sa condominium, you can still be active. Ayan, kasi bukod sa may fitness gym na, meron tayong jogging path or biking trail. And then actually, if you wanna go jogging naman, you can jog outside Alder, yun sa, sa Acacia Estate. Maraming dyan jogging dyan sa labas. Ayan. As we have uh, interconnected, ah, we have connected pools, ayan, yung dalawa, yung lap pool, saka yung lounge pool, then this is the kiddie pool and Maganda may slide pa. Very convenient, di ba? Especially for kids. As we have gazebo, so if you want to uh, have uh, like, like um, gusto nyo mag-picnic, yan, meron tayong mga picnic din. Tapos pero meron din ay mga grill pits nga na pwede tayong mag-barbecue. So it's like a resort type of living talaga. Yan. So ito yung play area for kids. Ayan, kiddie pool. Ayan yung slide. Ito yung lap pool. Ito yung picnic area. Ito yung mga grill pits ito. Ayan. So, we also have a play court, basketball court. Ayan. And then, ito naman, building design. Uh, sikat dito, si DMCI. Ito yung unique feature ni DMCI. So, yung LumiVent technology kasi, it's for ventilation. Ayan. Uh, every building ni DMCI is well ventilated. Ayan. Kung makikita nyo dito, uh, wait, ibalik ko muna yung picture. Ito. Ito yung LumiVent. Ito yung mga butas. Ayan. So, ang ginagawa niyan, papasok yung hangin dito ngayon. And then, this part kasi, open din yan. Like, it's, uh, we call it garden atrium. Uh, atrium floors, yan. So, ang hangin ni DMCI from this side, and then sa this side, and then sa units. So, for example, ito, nakabukas yung door mo, and then nakabukas yung window mo dito, basically, yung air is dire-direcho. Ayan. So, kaya very well ventilated tayo. Even the the unit design na yan, no? So, open, diretso. Ang hangin dyan. Ayan. So, yun yung isa sa magandang feature kay DMCI. Yung, yung, yung loob ng building is well ventilated. At the same time kasi, yung, yung, hindi lang yan for, ano eh, for air, uh, for natural light na rin. 
kung may, kung nakapunta ka na sa DMCI development, ma, ma, siguro napansin mo na even if like daytime, maliwanag yung ano, yung loob ng hallway. Hindi yan yung liwanag dahil sa ilaw. Liwanag yan dahil sa natural light coming from uh, the Lumivent technology. Ayan. Ito yung sasabi ko sa inyo, atrium floor. Ayan. So, ang maganda pa kay DMCI, hindi siya typical na na mga residential buildings na parang di pa di pa lang is unit to unit na. Hindi. Kay DMCI, uh, may garden siya sa gitna, then open siya. And then, uh, after 6th floor, garden ulit, then open ulit. Ayan. Ito. Ito yung lumi vent. Ayan. Pansin nyo, maliwanag, even if, ano, daytime. Tapos, uh, eto, ang access ng hangin yan, ganyan. So, maganda maganda, actually. Sabi nila kay DMCI, hindi siya yung parang nasa kahon na type of condominium. Single loaded hallway siya. Ayan. Ito. Then, eto naman comparison ng, ano, ng DMCI condo sa mga old buildings. Ayan. Kay DMCI, ganito yung, yung uh, hallway uh, sa mga typical buildings, ganito yung hallway. Ayan. Mapapansin nyo, ayan o. Maliwanag. Maliwanag. Sa kanila, dito, madilim. Ayan. Kailangan na ilaw. Ang maganda rin dito, pag ganito yung design, kasi, ang nagbabayad kasi ng, ano, ng, ng expenses ng condominium is yung homeowners association. So, kung yung kung ang building design is ganto, ano yan, 24/7 na nakabukas yung ilaw. So ang laking electric uh, ang laking consumption yan sa electricity. Unlike sa DMCI pag daytime sarado lahat ng ilaw. Yeah. Ang ang ano natin is natural light lang uh, and then yung ayan. So basically, uh, pag that, kaya one reason kung bakit mas mura ang association dues ni DMCI is because of the design na din. Ayan. Imagine kung yung ilaw ni DMC ay 24-7. So, ang laking dagdag niya sa bill na pag hati hatian ng homeowners association. Ayan. E DMC ay dahil nga pag daytime, patay ang ilaw. So, ang laking tipid niya. Ayan. So, mas mas maliit yung yung nagiging electricity bill ng whole development na pinag hati hatian ng mga homeowners. Ayan. And then, ito naman yung indoor amenities ni, ni all, the uh, all the residences. We have lounge areas, game area, fitness gym, audiovisual, and then multipurpose. And then, ito facilities natin na kanina na-discuss ko naman na. We have laundry station, water refilling station, and then convenience store. Ayan. Tapos, PMO services natin, uh, 24 hour security, general maintenance of common areas, taxi calling service, and then utility application and payment assistance. Ayan. Tapos, syempre, uh, all the residences is a new development. So, may mga improvements na ginawa ang DMCI dyan. Um, we have bigger windows na. And then, um, for, um, for aircon na, ang um, provision is for split type. Wala na window type. And then, bigger unit sizes. Ayan. So, yun yung mga improvements. Here's an example of uh, unit layout. So, this is a two-bedroom D58.5. Ang gross floor area niya is 67. That's 58.5 for the unit area and then plus yung sa balcony. Kaya 67. Ayan. So, here's the main door of the unit. So, uh, ayan. This is bedroom 2. This is bedroom 1. This is the kitchen area. Dining area and then living area. And this is the toilet and bath. This one, this is a new feature of, uh, uh, of for a DMCI unit. Kasi ang common problem uh, sa pag nakatira sa condo is yung space for washing machine and then utilities na rin like for example wali, uh, walis dust pan yan so and then uh, yung sa trash bins yan so uh, dito pwede nyo ilagay pwede nyo kung gusto kung, kung gusto nyo pwede nyo itong gawin parang laundry area nyo may provision dyan for drain and then for um, faucet yan kung kung hindi naman kayo naglalaba, pwede nyo yung gawin uh, lagayan ng mga walis, walis uh, ng dustpan, and then ng trash bins. Ayan. 
Ayan siya. So, new feature yan ni DMCI. Enclosed yan. Ayan. May door yan. Ayan. Tapos, ang maganda, bigger windows na nga tayo. Ayan. Sa living room, ayan na siya. So, parang floor to ceiling na almost yung ano, yung window niya. sa yung door. Sa room, ayan, bigger window na rin yan. Ayan, parang floor to ceiling. Ay, na, not floor to ceiling. Pero, half, almost half na window. Ayan. And then, another new feature din, kay Alder, is yung balcony niya, glass railing na. Ayan, glass na siya. So, this is an example naman na 3 bedroom. Actually, combined unit to. Ayan. So, 121 square meters yung gross floor area niya. It's a 3 uh, bedroom D. Ayan. So, ang laki niya. Mayroong 3 balconies. Common balcony. Balcony for the 3rd bedroom. Master's bed. This one, this is actually a master's bedroom. Ayan. May sariling toilet and bath. Um, this part, uh, Maid's room, ayan. May sarili toilet and bath si ang um, um, maid's room. And then, ito yung common CR for the, the other two bedrooms. Ayan. So, pagpasok is kitchen, dining, and then living area. Ayan. So, this is a big unit. So, here's the unit layout naman. Ayan. This is a typical 3 bedroom unit. It's it's 84.5 square meters. Ayan, pagpasa mo, kitchen, living, dining. Parang ito, half to. Tinanggal mo yung part na to. Yun na yung 3 bedrooms na to. Ayan. And then, ito naman yung turnover finishes. Ayan. So, pwede ko naman din to isend para isend sa inyo para may copy kayo. Ayan. Pwede nyo i-post dito para mabasa nyo lahat. Ayan. So, ito yung floor plan. Building floor plan. Ayan, kung mapapansin nyo. Uh, ang, ang, ang three bedrooms natin, corner units lang. Ayan. For this floor. And then, we have four elevators. Ayan. And then, yung sky patio. And then, garden atrium open. And then, all inner units dito, two bedrooms. Ayan. Dito naman, corner units, ayan, 3 bedroom uh, D, 3 uh, bedroom B, ayan, and then 3 bedroom A, ito yung pink, ito, may kita naman, ito, pwede natin ito maging basis, and then 2 bedroom, and then 2 bedroom yung green, 2 bedroom, ayan, kung mapapansin nyo, very low density yung floor na to parang lumalabas lang 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 units dito sa side and then 8 units dito sa kabila. Ayan. So, this is for Andaya building. So, 15 to 16 floor level plan. Yung una, second floor level plan, pataas yan. Ayan. Uh, sample ng facilities natin, ito yung convenience store. Yung convenience store actually, pe, uh, uh, binibid yan sa mga unit owners. So, kapag may unit ka, pwede ka mag-build dito uh, para sa'yo yung uh, convenience store. While I think, while pre-selling, uh, you can ano, uh, coordinate with the um, property management or customer care in DMCI to ask for yung sa bidding ng convenience store if interested. Ito, card operated laundry and then laundry, ah, and then water station. Ayan. And then, upcoming development near all the residences. Ito yung pinakamaganda. Mega Manila sub Subway. Kasi, eh, ito. So, magkakaroon ng station ng subway sa Cayetano Boulevard. Paglabas mo ng main gate ni uh, Akasha Estates, Cayetano Boulevard na. So, it's just somewhere there. Somewhere near uh, um, Akasha Estates. Yung magiging station niya. It could be malapit kay... Sobrang lapit kay Akasha dahil andun si yung bagong city hall ni Taguig. Or pwede rin summer malapit kay um, Vista Mall. Ayan. Pero either way, 
sobrang lapit lang kaya ay kay Alder or and kaya Kasha Estates nung Metro Mag, uh, Mega Manila Subway na Cayetano Boulevard Station. Ayan. And then investment side, ito real estate logic na lang to. Um, this is for uh, an example sa Prisma Residences. So, ang development kasi, ang condominium kasi, nag appreciate yan over time. So, for example, sa Prisma Residences, uh, in 2017, ang price ng unit is nasa 2.7 for one bedroom unit. 2021, nasa 4.8 na. Actually, medyo hindi to updated. I think nasa mga 5M na something. Ayan. So, for two bedroom naman, from 4.3 to 6.6. I think nasa mga 7 na ngayon. And then for a 3 bedroom, 6.4 to 9 million. I think nasa mga 12 million, 10 to 12 million na. Somewhere like that yung um, 3 bedroom kay Prisma. So, real estate logic. So, for example, kay Alder, if you will get a unit now, uh, since halos kakalaunch lang ni Alder, yung price niya is nasa ba almost base price pa. Pagdating niya ng turnover sa 2024 or 2025, yung price difference niya ay masyado ng malayo. Possibly, na nag-increase na ng 1 million, 2 million, 3 million. Uh, we'll never know. Ang, ang, ang sure tayo is nag-appreciate ang development kahit saan pa yan. Manila, Metro, uh, Taguig, Quezon City, nag-appreciate yan over time. Pos uh, possible na twice a year, thrice a year, depende. Ayan. So, if if you're planning to get a unit, get a unit as soon as possible. Kasi, um, for example, ikaw, kung dito sa Prisma, nag-inquire ka ng 2017, tapos, nag-decide kang bumula ng 2021, yung price, hindi na 2.7, nasa 4.8 na. And worse nga ngayon, nasa 5 million may git na. Diba? So, sayang yung time. So, yun yung real estate logic. If if you if you want to invest, invest as soon as you uh, find out about the development, uh, as long as kaya mo, uh, para pagdating ng time, well, technically speaking, mas nakatipid ka pa. Kasi, for example, dito with Prisma. So, to, uh, yung mga bumili, to those na bumili ng unit nung time ng 2017, if they plan to sell the unit now, they can earn a lot. Yan. So, from 2.7 to 5 million. So, imagine yung possible na kitain mo. Ayan. So, if hindi mo naman ibebenta, plan mo terhan, it's still a good, it's still a good ano, price appreciation. Kasi, you might not be ready to sell now, pero probably, uh, in the future, you will be. Ayan. So, it's always better na nakuha mo yung unit na mas mababa para pagdating ng time na gusto mo siya ibenta is malaki yung may maganda yung return of investment mo kikita ka talaga ayan so that's the real estate logic ayan so when should you invest I think nasagot ko naman na uh, uh, the answer is simple now yes what you are thinking now is right if only I have invested before ayan yan ito yung para sa mga clients na naging in uh, inquire before na hindi pa nakakuha na ngayon nagugulat sila bakit ang laki na nung uh, price appreciation ayan yun yung nagiging problem mostly ng mga inquiries namin sabi nila, ang laki na ng difference ng price, ang laki na ng increase dati sayang, data, dapat pala dati pa ako kumuha ayan, very common namin na naririnig yan so, ikaw kung naghanap ka ng investment um and okay sa iyo si, si other residences, you invest now. Ayan. So, for this presentation, wala pang sample computation. So, uh, yung computation kasi, hindi ko pwede incorporate dito sa video kasi uh, nagbabago siya monthly. Uh, for example, just for example, this month meron pa 30 months. Next month kasi, may 29 months na lang. So, yung kung magkano yung monthly mo for this month, hindi siya yung monthly, magiging monthly mo next month. Ayan. And what if mapanood may video ko 2 months from now? So, definitely, hindi yung competition, hindi na siya updated. Ayan. So, if uh, gusto mo malaman yung price ni other residences for 2-bedroom or 3-bedroom or, or th uh, unit, uh, please contact me. Ayan. Sisend lang kita agad ng sample computations. And then, at the same time din pala kasi, syempre yung, yung 
price ng unit. Hindi kasi yan pare-parehas. Eh. Different floor, different price. So, uh, ayan, yung nakadepende sa availability by the time na mag inquire ka kung ano yung price. Diba? Baka kasi yung price na mabigay ko now, uh, pag inquire mo, hindi na available. So, hindi na siya updated. Ayan. Normally kasi ang sinisend ko na, na sample computation is based sa available units ni DMCI homes, ni other residences. Ayan. So, if you have further questions, if you want a sample computation, um, and if you want me to explain it to you further, um, please let me know. Ayan. Kasi yung ano din, uh, regarding the computation, ini-explain ko everything na you need to know. Uh, walang hidden charges. For, from the reservation hanggang sa bank financing, hanggang makamove in kayo, ini-explain ko yan. Ayan. So, paano? Uh, I hope na gustuhan mo yung other residences. I hope um, maging agent mo ako soon. I hope maging partners tayo. Ayan. So, thank you so much. Uh, Jeremy Pasqua uh, signing off.